Hey guys, welcome back to Dang Place a Lot of Rings Online today. Uh, last time we did the school challenge on the champion. Today we're gonna do the library challenge on the champion. Uh, library is you know another one of the free mans that you can do on tier one, which means they're pretty easy. But because there is no tier two, the challenge is on tier one itself. Uh, the challenge is we have to defeat Chieftain Gursh or whatever. And we're not allowed to defeat any of his birds or Darkwing Wardens. So, or Warders, as this is not spelled right. And so it's not as much as a DPS race as it is a survival race. And we're going to start this out yellow traded again, just because AoE really helps cleaning up all this stuff really fast. Alright, so if you're geared well enough, you can just go in, pull everything pretty much. And watch everything die as you get disarmed. Alright, so that disarm was bad, but she needs to take a potion here. So you don't want to get disarmed, but it's, uh, unfortunately, there's nothing you can really do about that. And you do get a lot of these poisons that deal a lot of damage, but again, if you if you pay enough attention. You shouldn't die, and if you do die, just you know, don't pull three rooms at once. Just pull one room, and and you'll be good. Probably what I should have done. All right. Down here, you have to be careful with your AOE because we're not allowed to kill any of these birds um, before we kill the boss. So we will ignore them for now. Just gonna go here on the right side first. Well, you can go to the left side, that's fine too. I just, I don't know why, I always go to the right side first. More trash to kill. Maybe the only thing that should kill you here is a, a badly timed disarm from them. I'm facing attacks to heal yourself up. And see, I'm disarmed again. It's really annoying. I don't know who came up with that mechanic. Because I was disarmed, that orc got healed, but it's not a big deal. Uh, you, you might be tempted to um, take off the poisons, but you cannot control which poison you take off with one of your poison parts, so I would always save your parts for, for disarm. So I wouldn't even worry about the wounds. Okay, this one a little better. Uh, one, die. Okay, finally he's dead. So we're gonna go up to the first boss, which will be... And again, I'm not gonna worry about the side quest, they're not worth doing, they don't give him any marks. Uh, Commander Pitstore, he has those six adds, but they come out in waves, so it's pretty easy. You can kill them before he activates. That's the first wave. And they're dead. And wait for the second wave. Dum dum dum. Come on. Wish it would just trigger once you kill the first wave. Okay. And now he will come. He will be. He can be difficult because he does stun. And it's, I think, an 8 second stun. And you really don't want that. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of that stun with my Blood Rage. I don't want to be stunned having that many um, poisons on me. So you might need to use a potion or two in here. I'm going to use my fight on here in a second. Because I don't want to be caught being stunned with low health. Alright, I'm going to use the fight on. Because I still have you know 30 seconds before I can... That was a little lag there. Um, Still 30 seconds before I can get out of a stun. So that I will teach you is a stun skill. So I evaded it. So I got lucky. So if you get lucky, this fight is really easy. If you get really unlucky and you get stunned every time, um, he can be a uh, can be a problem. And if you do this on a guard or a warden, this will be really easy. Because you can just heal yourself or mitigate everything. Alright. 
And if you have a red line uh, set up, you could um, switch over to red line to fight this guy. It might go faster. Alright, so 47 marks, 9 medallions. Not really good. Uh, didn't get any good loot. But we're not here in here for him. So now we have to go over to the other boss, uh, which is a lot easier. Get out. Yeah, you don't have to go back like all the way. You can just jump down here. You will break, but it's only a six second break. So again, don't don't kill the birds. The birds are here for the challenge. Clear out this trash. And disarmed. Really, really annoying. The champion used to have a skill uh, where you could get rid of an Islam, but they put it in with the Blood Rage now, which you need for the stuns. So you don't want to use the Blood Rage for just a disarm. So just use a potion. Potions are not very expensive. I mean, we get a lot of um, silver out of here. I think everything that dies gives you like... Because nothing here gives me silver. 174 silver. So you can use some potions, it'll be fine. And one more trash pull. Right. And disarmed. Really annoying. There's like nothing you can do to resist it. It's just it's just gonna happen. Okay. So now we're up to the second boss. And as I said, he is really easy. All he does is when he drops to about half health, he will stun you. And then he will start a heal. But you can blood rage out and interrupt it. Or even if you don't have blood rage already, uh, you have enough time to interrupt it. Just make sure you have enough fervor. Keep our crit rating up. You can see down here, I'm at 40% crit chance, well, or critical hits, no, 34 now. So that's, that's where you want to be. The higher the better, obviously. Okay. Bracing attack. Uh, he does not disarm, so he could get rid of the wound, but I don't think he does enough damage. So he should do his stun here relatively soon. There we go. So just blood rage it and interrupt him right away. And then he doesn't get if he's heal off. Um, I think he heals full away, I don't know. Uh, you don't want to test it, just interrupt it. Come on, die. I don't want to use a potion, I think we're still fine. Maybe? Yes. Need a good crit here too. All right, so that's that's the trash. Um, pretty easy, as I said. I think any class can pretty much do those. A purple weapon. The boss is going to be tricky. And as I said, we're not allowed to kill any of the birds. We have to kill him first. Now, if you're a warden, it's easy. You can just tank everything and heal yourself. Now, as a guard, I'm going to assume it's the same. And a champion is going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm going to switch over to blue line again, just so I can survive longer. This time I did some red skills with more crit chance and brutal strikes, just so I can do some more damage. Um, I'm going to use some scrolls as well, just to help me out a little bit. And basically you just want to be patient, because you're going to have to do a lot of running around. Okay. And also I have the champion, I guess, tanking set that will heal me. It has a 10% chance to heal me for 10% maximum up, which will help out a lot in this fight. Uh, it will heal me quite a bit. I can show you after a fight. Okay, so let's get this started. So in the beginning, um, it's easy, there's no birds yet. So you don't want to use any AoEs. And you guys need to remember that Sudden Defense gives you a nice bubble, but once it expires, it's actually an AoE. And I need to find out why this bird takes like 27 damage. 
um, I don't know. Also, um, sweeping whatever it was uh, will take uh, as an AoE as well. So you don't want to do so. Don't be afraid to use cooldowns. You're going to be in this fight for at least 10 minutes. And um, so your cooldowns will reset. I'm going to have to run around a little bit. You always want to run on, around the stone because he does have a range attack he does sometimes. And if you're around the stone he can't see you so he won't do it. I'm going to wait for my bracing attack. I'm gonna... I don't want to walk through all those birds. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bracing attack and then uh, wait to pop my Dianeid just so the cooldown gets getting started. Yeah, and now really the, the, the goal is not to be greedy. Run out if your health drops too low. Take a potion. And just be patient. So most of this fight we will run around. So we already did 100,000 damage. So we're two thirds there. Just you know, be patient. Well, one third there, I guess. Two thirds left. You know what I mean. Okay, there he is. Now the birds have about. Oh, see, there went my bracelet and my jewelry heal. Hit me for like 6,000. Okay, and also remember if you actually I think that big heal was my blue line heal. So if you drop under thirty percent, you heal for I think it's twenty percent, and that happens every minute and thirty seconds. Alright, so we just have to run around. Um, all my big heals on cooldown. You can use a few sudden defense. The birds have I think sixteen thousand hit points, so one sudden defense won't kill them. But I'm just gonna wait till. Well, I guess I can start Unbreakable. Let's yeah, Unbreakable. Okay. Ooh, so I got I got Lord, and I wanted to. Let's let's run a of it. So I got greedy. You don't want to be greedy. Um. Luckily, my dire need will be up in eight seconds. And until then, there's not much you can do, really. And my dire need won't full heal me, which is which is bad. And I would like it to combine it with a racing attack for the twenty percent or fifteen percent incoming heal modifier. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a potion once it's up. Come on, potion. Go in there, hit him with. Facing attack and then die and eat him. And we good again, we get the brutal strikes off. Merciful. Um, actually, that fight on is back up. Okay, don't get greedy. Just run out. Heal up again. He's about halfway, or well, he's more than halfway, so we're good. Been doing this for about four minutes. So unfortunately another four minutes and we have him. Um, as I said, it's not the most exciting fight to do it solo on the champion, but it's possible. I might do it on the warden later and I can show you, um, you know, you can just stand there in the middle basically and tank him. So that's where my jewelry triggered healed us for 3000, so that's good. So we're gonna run around, oh he's in front, perfect. Attack him. You don't even want to look at him, you just want to look at your hit points and run away when you drop uh, or when you're not comfortable anymore. Okay. Oh, good heals on cooldown. We do have Unbreakable and we do have Adamant. It's about 100,000. We do have Endurance of Stone as well if we need to. If you're a dwarf. Um, if you're a man, don't use your, your man here because it will stop you and stuff can hit you. Okay, let's use those. Let's go ahead and use it. Might as well. My Dianeed is almost back up. Let's try to do some damage. 
Okay, and run out. Don't be greedy. He's at 69,000. We'll be doing well. That don't be greedy. You see your health potions. Probably the only only time you will use them right now, since the game is... Unless you do tier 2 raids, relatively easy. Da -da -da. Oh. Okay, so this is what um, what the birds, why they do damage themselves. They have to reflect 30% of damage. So 20% chance that they uh, reflect 30%. Which won't be a problem, they don't have that many hit points. Okay, but Dianeed is back up, so let's wait till he's out in the open, run in, do a bracing attack and hit um, Dianeed. There you go, we're good on half again, maybe we'll get him down. I don't want to risk using a bracing attack, uh, not a bracing attack, a uh, sudden defense. Just in case one of the birds dies. Oh, we, we got a good heal again somewhere. Uh, fight on is ready. Oh, we got another good heal. Right. See if we can kill him. Almost. Come on, need a good crit or two. Alright, come on. Barely using any hit points. Uh, by now I can use, and there we go, he's dead. So now we have all those birds to deal with. Unfortunately we're not yellow traded, so we don't really have any good AoEs. Uh, so just use every skill you have. And don't get greedy, I mean you can still die, and you would lose, I think you would lose the challenge. We do have the challenge that's out already, so I'm not sure. But I don't want to die. So I'm just gonna take it easy again. Do an AoE here, there. But those birds do um, quite some damage. Okay. Be nice to get an, get a heal here for our jewelry. Now we can use sudden defense. Doesn't matter. We want more AoE. All right, last bird. Perfect. And uh, we'll count up to 16. We got the challenge. If we get any good any good loot. Uh not really. Sometimes you get crystals of remembrance, um, stuff like that. Got a, a tanking um, bow, not really good. Probably just sell it in the auction house. Alright, well this is how you can do the library challenge mode on a champion. Um, I think I will do it on a warden later. Oh, I wanted to show you the heal. So my jewelry healed me for 32,000. So this will help you a lot. If you don't have that, um, if you don't have the big battle set here, um, this might be more difficult. But you just have to be more patient and you have to run a lot more. So it took us 7 minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, it's a lot easier if you do it with somebody, but this is a good challenge. Alright, well, thanks a lot. Uh, if you like this content, um, consider hitting the like button and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.